Hi guys, okay, now I'm going to show you the uh, translator that I use, and that's uh, Google Translate. I'm going to show you a few of the various features with that and uh, how to utilize it, okay? If you go to translate.google.com or just type translate into uh, Google, you will get to uh, their translation site. And here you can see you've got two boxes, uh, one on the left where you put the original text and then one on the right, which will be the translation that they'll do for you. And it's really easy to switch from English to Spanish, Spanish to English. And uh, if you look up here, this is where you can select the languages uh, that you want from on the left and two on the right. Um, if we put in a comment, let's say we're going to go from Spanish to English and let's put in... Buenos dias, como estas? Which means good morning, how are you? It's translated it over here on the right. I'd also like to note that Google does do a machine pronunciation. I think theirs is a little bit better than Spanish dicks, but it's not as good as having a real native speaker say it. So I'd only recommend you use this if uh, if you've exhausted all other options, if, if Spanish dict and Forbo uh, don't have it. Okay, but it's, it's still not too bad. Buenos dias, como estas? So there you go, that's not too bad. Um, additionally, if we uh, put in English here, you can see on the right, it translates it for us. Buenos dias, como estas? Um, also, if you have a website, that one of the this is one of the really cool things about Google Translate. If you've got a website that's in uh, Spanish, for example, uh, BBC Mundo, which is the Spanish language version of the BBC homepage, um, Let's uh, let's say you want to translate this into English. If you'll just take the URL, go up here and copy and paste, Control C and then Control V. That's how I usually do it, and then put it right in there like so. It'll uh, you see this over here. If you'll the link will come up here on the right hand side. Just click that link, and well, I've got it set English to Spanish. We don't want to do that, do we? We want to go Spanish to English. So Spanish. English and click translate and there we go. Um, Google Translate is really really good. I mean even when they're going to translate like a whole a whole web page or basically a lot of text they still do a pretty good job. It's not perfect but it's understandable. You can understand what is being said. Uh, the grammar isn't perfect but that w what's important is that you can understand what, what, what what's being said here. Um, uh, for example, the popular uh, Mexican resort says he almost broke. And if you just hover your mouse over, you see Google Translate gives you the original Spanish text. Um, well, you can tell that that means that the popular Mexican resort says that they are almost broke. You understand what that means, and, and that's all that really matters. Uh, and it's very easy to just switch back to the original. Just go up here and click original. And uh, that's it. You can go back to the translation. Uh, very simple, very easy. And uh, that's it for Google Translate. Oh, one more thing. If you're interested in teaching yourself Spanish using free online resources, especially if you especially if you like the idea of using things like Spanish language movies and TV shows and, and books to teach yourself Spanish, which is the method that I specialize in, the tele, telenovela method. Te, a telenovela is a Spanish language soap opera. Um, then check out my website at howlearnspanish.com. That's howlearnspanish.com because how to learn Spanish.com was already taken. I'll also put a link to it below in the description if you're watching this on YouTube.